Hello everyone. Welcome back to another Relevant Picture Book Reviews. I am Sunika here with another great picture book review for you. So, have you ever gotten upset? Have you ever had a child that got upset and needed some time to just cool down, to just calm down? Well, today we have a picture book for that. Today's picture book is everyone's favorite. It's a classic. This picture book actually turns 60 today. This book was written in 1963 on April 9th. So here we go. Today's picture book is Where the Wild Things Are. Yes. So a lot of people are very, very familiar with this book. It's been a staple in children's lives for 60 years. So it's a great book. It's written by the great Maurice Sendak. And he's also the illustrator of this book. So he's one of the very few authors that also illustrates. So here we go. Where the wild things are. Where are they? So um, this book for those who may not be familiar <laughs> with this book, it's a book about a boy named Max. And Max got into a bit of mischief, um, chasing the dog, wearing his wolf costume, just completely not listening to his mom at all. And so mom got a little bit frustrated herself and sent Max off to bed before his supper was ready so he could have some cool down time and you know come back for supper so max went to his room and max used his imagination created this world around him and also before max max's mom sent him off to his room she had called him a wild thing because of all the mischief he was getting into so max created this this imaginary play in his bedroom where he imagined his his room became a forest with tons of trees and he got into a boat and sailed away into the forest to be with these animals that he called wild things because his mom called him a wild thing so he was like okay i'll just go be with the wild things in my own world and so he took off in his in his mind but it's very realistic it has beautiful pictures in it the pictures were done, like I said, 1963, so they are very unique. They're very different, different than the photos that we see in picture books today, which is one of the things that I love about this book is just how different the colors are, the drawings are. It is just perfect. And so while Max is in this jungle, he gets a crown, he becomes king of all wild things, he commands the creatures of the forest to do whatever he wants them to do, to act however he wants them to act, and he just has a ball of a good time. But eventually, Max started missing his mom, and he was ready to go home. So he sailed back to his house and went back to his bedroom after he had calmed and cooled down and guess what his supper was ready waiting for him it was still hot it was ready to go so i mean tells you that he wasn't really gone that long <laughs> and so um great book um if you're looking for a book about emotions you're looking a book to talk about feelings because we all have different feelings we all have different emotions that come up daily um, sometimes, a lot of times throughout the day, we go through a, a wave of emotions ranging from happy to upset, to angry, to sad, to silly, to surprise, right? Um, and you can see here, this book has won many awards, including the Caldet Award, right? Here, the Caldecut Award. And so it's a great book. It's a classic book. 60 years old give it up for where the wild things are um use this book read this book to children talk about emotions talk about feelings in a positive way we all have them even the mummies and the daddies have them and if you're looking for activities to go along with this book and a theme of emotions and feelings in your classroom or with your child 
I would suggest um, doing an emotions chart, showing children the different emotions and matching them up with colors, right? What color do you think your emotion would be if it could be a color? Would it be blue for sad? Would it be blue for happy? Would it be yellow? Would it be red for upset or anger or for love? Um, have each child draw what color their emotions would be. And also, I would suggest having them draw a portrait of themselves and giving them different colored paper and have them rip the paper and glue the paper, the colors of the paper onto their portrait um, to depict the color of emotions that they either enjoy feeling, that they're feeling in the moment, or a mixture of emotions that they feel throughout the day or the week using various colors of paper and textures, throwing some texture paper in there as well too. Have them cut them up, glue them onto the portrait, maybe a little bit of red for when I'm in love or a little bit of red for when I'm upset, a little bit of blue for when I'm feeling sad or happy, a little bit of yellow and see what they come up with. That's a great activity for emotions and talking about it and creating an open-ended art activity with it as well. Um, another emotions activity that I would have children do for this book would also be to talk about how they're feeling on a day-to-day -day basis, right? Um, and also have them tell you how they're feeling and, and, and you relate to them as well how you feel at times and have them tell you what things make them upset, what things can make them happy what things surprises them, what things make them feel warm and fuzzy inside. So it's great to have a discussion. And this could be done at circle time or at table time, um, whenever you feel like, you know, we should be talking about some emotions or some big feelings today. Um, another activity you can have children do, because in this book, Max does wear his wolf suit. It's like a costume that he puts on when he became mischievous, I would have the children tell me what their favorite costume is or what they would like to dress up as or even draw themselves in their favorite costumes. Especially if it's close to Halloween time, it would be a great time to use this book as a reflection of um, art activities for costumes and themes like that. Um, also, I would have them do um, the finger play um, any finger play that deals with emotions, the songs, of if you're happy and you know it, um, the hokey pokey, all those songs deal with emotions as well. Okay, so there you have it, where the wild things are. Remember, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below, anything you'd like me to add for this. And if I think of anything else, I'll also add it to the comments as well. All right, take care. See you next time for another relevant picture book review. I am Sunika. Keep reading.